Lo facesti? No, ancora no. E perché ancora no? E perché è facile, non è. Me, ma cosa ci vuole? Ma vedi che sono tanti, ma tanti, eh? Vai, fallo. Ho detto che voglio tutto l'internet subscribed. Avanti. Eh sì, signore, vado sotto, vado sotto. Good day folks, welcome back to my channel and as always, thank you so much for watching. So I was born in Catania in Sicily, which is a city right at the feet of a volcano Etna. And in Catania, they call this, or the real version, the real sawed off shotgun, um, they call it La Lupara. I think that is because uh, farmers used to use this to get rid of lupi, which in Italian means wolves. Uh, I'm not really sure, but the bottom line is that as a Sicilian, I have a special connection with this gun. So I haven't shot this HDS 68 16 joules version in a while now, and today I have the perfect reason for dusting it off. 68 caliber shotgun shot shells. <laughs> All right, so to load the uh, shot shells, you're going to need a long, thin rod of some sort. Um, this is the back side of the shot shell while we will be loading the BBs, six gram, uh, sorry, six millimeter BBs from the front. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three. three. Obviously now if we turn the BBs will all come out. Thus, we must stick them in with our rod. And there we go. BBs are not coming out. As you see, they're all on the back side, ready to be loaded. And allow me really quick to say thank you so much to Kyle Booker, who once again uh, helped me out uh, this time by uh, interior designing my alley. Thank you so much. These uh, slug maker buckshots were sent to me from Germany by a company called Tech23. Uh, you'll find obviously all the links below. Uh, today we're going to see the power of these things and we're also going to uh, see the different uh, sizes of the group spreads from different distances. And finally I'm going to put uh, two mannequins side by side to see how effective uh, one shot can be versus multiple targets. Oh wait, before I start shooting, allow me a quick disclaimer. All right, so um, I shot two shots. Uh, I shot one from 10 feet away and one from 20 feet away. Uh, this is the group of the, from uh, 10 feet away, as you see, it's all in within about an inch and a half. While the second group from 20 feet away was a lot more spread out. Um, you can see some weak, weaker denting and some stronger denting, which, which kind of matches the uh, the one I shot from a closer distance. Um, so it seems like, yes, the, 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 the power was not too different. However, the spreading uh, became obviously much wider as we moved further back. Uh, let's see the back side. 
Well, okay, so we've seen greater, definitely seen greater damage. Uh, if you've seen the videos where I shoot these metal sheets, um, we've seen greater damage with the HDR 68, HDR 50, but uh, those are obviously much, much bigger caliber. One's 50 caliber, one's 68 caliber, and also the guns were stronger. I just shot now a 16 joules uh, power gun while the other videos were shot with 20 and then 30 joules. Uh, so obviously we saw greater damage on these metal sheets. Okay, so for the this piece of drywall, we're going to use the plastic BBs. And again, I'm gonna shoot from two uh, different distances to see the different group spreads. All right, well, at the risk of studying the obvious again, uh, we saw that the uh, the 10 feet uh, shot was a lot more compact. Uh, the group was a lot more compact while the uh, 20 feet shot was uh, more spread out. However, the intensity of the shot uh, seems to be very, very similar as the depth of these holes uh, is pretty much, they're all the same. Um, however, they did not Nothing uh, penetrated, nothing came out the other side. So I would say that these are indeed safe to shoot at home uh, should you accidentally shoot your wall. However, they're probably less effective or for sure they're less effective than other types of projectiles. Uh, I do want to try the metal BBs to see if they, uh, if they penetrate. Okay, so uh, very similar damage. Maybe the holes are a bit deeper. These are the metal ones. Um, however, they did not cross through the other side. So metal, plastic, BBs, uh, not much difference in this test. And by the way, to all us fathers out there in the United States, happy Father's Day. Okay, so before I let you go, um, since I got so many goodies uh, from Tech23, uh, thank you so much, Stefan, uh, for this package. Um, I want to reshoot these 68 caliber slugs. Uh, I shot them last week in the HDR 68. Uh, we saw that they did not fit uh, very tight. They were very loose in the magazine. So in fact, they did not shoot too powerfully. Again, these were designed for the HDS 68. So I'm gonna shoot them in the HDS 68 against a coconut. And I'm really curious to see uh, what kind of damage they will make. Uh, again, these projectiles look really good. They're metal plastic. Um, looks like they spin. And also, I wanna to bring to your attention these, actually I got them right here, these FU slugs 50 caliber, which I'm going to be shooting soon. And I'm gonna be shooting them against these rubber mannequins to see if indeed uh, they will be stamped with these cute little words right here. So stay tuned for that. All right, very, very angry little things. Look at that. I shot like maybe eight shots at least at this. I shot, reloaded, shot, reloaded. Um, and look at, <laughs> again, 16 joules, uh, HDS 68 with these uh, Tech 23 uh, slug maker slugs, 68 caliber, extremely, extremely, potent very strong little things oh did you guys notice my t-shirt too good eye 
Well, okay, this is actually not the final product. Uh, you can already find some t-shirts down in the links below. They are still uh, very basic. They are just the first line uh, that my wife and I put together. Uh, obviously the design will keep evolving, getting better and better and better. So if you do not like what you see in the links below, please wait. Uh, better, cooler t-shirts will be coming uh, along the way. Again, it, this is not the actual t-shirt that you find in the link. This is just a prototype. Anyway, should you be interested, please go do have a look. All right, guys, we are down to our final test. Uh, we'll be shooting these two mannequins. I'm gonna be shooting uh, the metal BBs and I'll be shooting one barrel first, the other barrel second, and finally, I'm gonna be shooting both barrels at the same time. So we're gonna have a total of three shots and let's see what happens to these guys. All right, well, slight change. Uh, I shot the first shot to this guy, shot the second shot to this guy uh, and with the single barrels and then the double barrel, I kind of uh, aimed in the middle and all the shots did go in the middle. So basically missing both of them. So I ended up doing another shot on this guy and another shot on this guy. So they basically got blasted uh, in the face twice, uh, each with uh, one barrel. So let's see the effects. I don't know what happened to the glass here how the glass did not shatter it just flew off so yeah I'll let you judge for yourself on the power of these little BBs Honestly, I like the idea of these uh, shotgun shells, buckshots, however you would like to call them. Um, I think they need more power, so they need a stronger gun. Uh, basically, you know, in this air gun world, probably the HDS-68 is the only gun that can shoot them at the moment. Uh, mine is a 16 joules version. I know that you can upgrade that even more now to 20 joules. So I do rec reckon that the stronger the gun is, the better, obviously more effective these uh these will be uh they need to be launched a little harder however i mean you got nine bbs hitting a target at the same time or or 18 if you're shooting both barrels at the same time so uh great idea great projectiles um i was a little let down on the damage uh on the drywall on the metal sheet um but again i actually was surprised uh with with uh, you know how they got stuck into the styrofoam they went pretty deep into the styrofoam and you know visibly damaged uh these uh styrofoam heads so all in all i think they're great projectiles they're fun to have um fun to use you know at home uh i'm not sure i would uh, i would i would rely on them for for home defense or self-defense uh, at this stage again if you have a stronger gun then absolutely uh and again i would they're 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 the type of projectiles you want to use at, at short range for sure Anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing. And thank you so much for liking the video if you did indeed like the video. And I will see you guys next week.